Hi YouTube, this is Kristen Moonrise. Welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to um, record a quick video right now. I just came back from having coffee with a few friends and I'm just like wired up right now. I'm about to go back out because I just can't, <laughs> you know, can't relax right now. I just had some amazing, great coffee. But anyway, it was, it's just, first I wanted to just say like how great it is to have friends that are essentially kind of accountability partners and have friends that really understand like breaking the generational trauma and being the one that changes the trajectory of your family and generations to come uh, because you recognize the uh, importance of really doing inner work and being the change that your lineage needs and not repeating a lot of mistakes and really being honest with yourself about your actions and you know just really seeing the fork in the road you see um a lot of people i i they 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 say this and i, and I think we all can agree like you meet people either you know family or friends or even strangers but you see like a glimpse of you know they may be a bit older than you and you see a glimpse of what your life could be if you continued the same bad habits and you can end up like that person and you don't want to be like that person and then you know you see a glimpse of someone else who's also a bit older or more experienced and you see that they've made changes and and what you know how they live their lives um, with so much more freedom because they've decided to do their inner work so you're like you're sitting at that fork in the road and you're deciding what do I want from myself? And so it's really, really great, even if your circle is small, to have, you know, friendships like that. And if you can't have them in person, um, then you can hopefully have an online community or someone else that you can talk to that really understands the importance of change and the need to change. Um, because it's kind of a lonely journey because you've got a lot of people that can come towards you or, you know, they could talk to you about, oh, it's just easier just to continue things the way that it is and why would you want to break the mold and you're causing problems by trying to change. There's so much of that pressure to just kind of stay stuck and it's just really great to even have, like I have friends that are out of state where we talk about our experiences with family and stuff like that and that's super helpful um, even if you can't have someone that's in in town with you that you know thankfully we've got the internet now we've got the phone we've been had the phone but we can communicate with each other in different ways so that is super important on the uh, spiritual journey um, to make sure that you've got a community of somebody uh, that understands you and you understand them and so that's absolutely um, what this age of Aquarius is about with this new with this full moon in Aquarius is about if you aren't gearing up for that energy I'll link up my video uh, up above and I didn't really stress enough about the importance of community I did mention humanitarianism but it's so important to really have that community again even if it's small even if it may be virtual but really having your tribe that really understands you you know be your own hierophant but also um recognizing yourself you know as an individual among the collective groups and really just find your tribe that understands what you're going through and where you're going um so i think that's super important but anyway i recorded this video because i wanted to mention that i've started to blog and um, the idea has been kind of popping around for like maybe a week or two to like write a book actually writing a book has been in my mind for about at least a well actually for years but I'm not ready to do that um, perhaps in the future but I can absolutely start to blog so I've already posted my first blog um, it's going to be about my spiritual journey essentially in like the start of this spiritual journey what woke me up and all of the changes that I went through I've detailed that before on videos but I've taken them down because the energy was really low so I would rather just contain it into a blog 
and just talk about more uplifting things um, on the videos or just maybe detail a little bit of a story here and there but not really gush all of that out so it's really going to just detail about my waking up and you know all of the changes that I made and stretches and pulls and conflicts and getting over certain things and um, and what led me to this creating this YouTube channel and then what led me to being a life coach and what may come in the future so I, it would be really awesome if you guys could check that out um, I'll post the link in the description box I've already posted one blog post I plan to make it at least once every weekend like maybe once a Sunday or something like that um, but I'm doing all this on my own so forgive me if I miss a week or something like that but uh, I do plan on just writing a quick blog it's not going to be you know chapters and chapters of anything it's just going to be something quick um, that I might detail you know just for a little bit so uh, it you can access it either through my website you can scroll all the way to the bottom where it has a section for a blog or you can um, access it through LinkedIn which I'll leave both links um, in the description box so I haven't created a subscriber list or anything yet um, perhaps that may come in the future but I'll at least notify of a new blog post every or like you know whenever I post it I'll at least have it in my community tab here um, linked that I've created a, that I've posted a new blog post so if anything check check the community tab I'll definitely say that there so that would be really awesome if you guys could check that out and yeah and you can comment there I think you can you can comment on LinkedIn I don't know if you can comment on the website but you can certainly comment on the community tab post so I'll actually also post this video on the community tab also so I would like you know interaction or anything like that if you felt like you resonated with the message there so I think that's going to be you know another way to kind of connect there so anyway I hope you guys are having a good weekend and that uh, you're gearing up for this full moon energy happening on Tuesday super full moon in Aquarius this is really really great to just find your tribe and find your center and really show the world the real you because it's no sense in hiding anymore for whatever reason what are you gaining by hiding yourself leave that in the age of Pisces where struggle and suffering and sacrifice was the theme we ain't got to do that no more. <laughs> we can be much more efficient and happy and stress-free. And uh, we can enjoy life so much more now if we just be who we were born to be. So anyway, um, that's pretty much it. I talked twice as long as I wanted to. I think because I had that coffee and um, <laughs> I'm like, I don't really drink coffee that much, but that was really good coffee. And so anyway, I'm going to go back out and run some more errands um, because I just need something. I need to go drive. <laughs> so anyway, hope you guys are having a great weekend. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.